Okay, hey everybody, it's me. How y'all doing? Hey, I decided to write something down for y'all. I thought I was gonna sit up and do it, but I changed my mind. So now my little board, it look kind of jacked up because it's tilted. So, um, people asked me questions about the low board, and I always said I wouldn't show the low board. But i show y'all a little small scenario. This kind of quick. i do it better later. But I decided to go ahead on and just write something down right quick. So, when you look at the low board, it looks something similar to this. Not exact, but similar to this. And that's everything that it's going to tell you. So, as you can see, and you probably would tell, these are made-up names. So, up at the top up there, we got Spring, Mississippi. And out beside that, it tells you how much the load is paying. And so, and that's all it's going to tell you. And it's, well, besides for the dates of, and the dates and times of when you need to pick it up. Of course, we're dealing military time. I suck at it. I know what 2359 is. Um, but other than that, I suck at it. So, anyway... It had to have it picked up between June 5th, 2015 at 8.30. I do know that. And um, June 7th, 2015, 23.59, which is 11.59. The load is going to Water, New Jersey. And it have to be delivered between June 7th, 2015 at 12 noon and June 9th, 2015 at 21.30. That's when it have to be delivered. Then it gives you some more details about the load. It tells you how much the load weighs. Um, that's not always accurate. Sometimes it can be lighter. Sometimes it can weigh more. And then it'll tell you the number of empty miles because you're looking at it from the point that you're at. And I'm going to show you what I mean in a second when I flip it over. But anyway, it tells you it's like 16.28 miles. And then how many loaded miles you'll be traveling. Um, which is 1,078 loaded miles. Then it's going to tell you the estimated loaded mile pay, which is um, per mile. That's pay per mile. So you'll be um, averaging around $2 and a penny. Um, that's just from spring to water, New Jersey. Um, but when you add your total miles in, because you have to include the 16.28 um, miles that you're going, that give you an estimated total miles uh, pay of a dollar and ninety nine cent a mile, and then the number of stops it have three stops on it. So that just basically means somewhere between spring and water, you have to stop somewhere else to um, either deliver product or pick product up. In the detail section, it'll uh, it'll give you information about that. So let me flip it over. Okay, when I flip it over. You can see, we went to Water, New Jersey. Okay, so Water, New Jersey is our point A. <clears throat> Excuse me. Water, New Jersey is our point A. So we need a load to get us from Water, New Jersey. Now, while we in spring, we can look and see if there's something that's picking, that we could pick up in Water, New Jersey. So, and because we found something, we decided to go. It's a low picking up in Last Paper, New Jersey. And one of the deciding factors for us to pick it up is how many empty miles we will have to travel to get it. We'll only have to go 17 and a half miles to pick up the low in Last Paper, New Jersey. The low is paying th um, $393.82. You have to pick it up between June 8th. Uh, it's 1700 and June 9th at 20, uh, um, 2200. So between doing our math and what, giving the idea of what time we'll probably make it to Water, New Jersey, and if you're doing 500 miles, 500 miles, and it's taking it into fact that we can get that load on the 5th, we can do 500 miles on the 5th, take a break, do another 500 miles on the 6th or 7th, or however we want to do. Y'all know how I do it. I slow roll it. I ain't trying to do all that work. So... Well, anyway, so we can, of course, we can find another low, but we're just going to say we're going to go with this low. So, um, as long as we're there between 1700 on the 8th and 2200 on the 9th at last paper. Um, lost, oh, yeah, last paper. I was going to say last paper. Um, New Jersey. And it's going to give me some Pennsylvania. 
So we know how far that is by looking at it right here. It's only 218 miles. And then we have to have it delivered sometimes on the night, basically, for between 1 a.m. and 23.59 on the night. And I put these little um, numbers out here, point C, point B, and point A, because now Water, New Jersey is our point A. And to get to Water, New Jersey, from well, to get from Water, New Jersey to last to get from point A to point B, we're going to have to travel 17, point, um, 17 and a half miles. And then to get from point B to point C, we're going to have to go 218 miles. And I said all that to say this right here. That's where the total loaded miles pay is, is $1.81. That is only from point B to point C. It's a dollar and eighty-one cent, but they take it a step further for you, and they'll give you a total estimated miles, and that's including your seventeen miles and your two hundred and eighteen miles, which would then, which is what I mostly look at. I don't know if all drivers look at that, but I mostly look at the total mile pay, which is a dollar a dollar and sixty-seven cent per mile. The number of stops on this law, which is pretty much all I do, is two stops, and when they say two stops, that just basically means. You'll stop at point B to pick up the load, which is one stop, and then you'll park, uh, stop at point C to deliver the load, which is two stops. So that's where the two stops come in at. Whereas on this one, we was stopping at point A, where really that would be point B because we have to travel somewhere. We have to travel 16 miles just to get to point B. But between point B and point C, which I don't have those alphabets on here, we will have to stop somewhere in between. That's where that third stop come in at. But if you just picking up a load and delivering a load, it's going to say two. That's all it's going to say. So, um, yeah, I just kind of make that little quick video and show y'all, give y'all idea of how it look. Um... That's not totally how it look. And plus, I had to make some stuff up and all of that stuff. Um, these numbers, I try to get them accurate. They may be a little bit off. But you get the point of what I'm trying to say. So, that's kind of like how our low board would appear. Again, you would know, of course, again, with, um, give me some Pennsylvania. Once you deliver there, or before you deliver there, you can actually look ahead and see if you're going to find something in the area to take you, like, like you want to come further south, to take you further south. And you may pay uh, find a higher paying low uh, if you're looking for more of a revenue. Or you may find um, a low that's paying a little bit, slightly less per mile, but it's getting you further down to the area that you want to be. So you may, you know, shave like 20, 30 cent off. It's only paying a dollar and 30 cent. But it's taking you wherever you want to go. So that will work out in your favor. And you can just keep doing it like that. Just going over and over like that. And that's how you just plan yourself out. And so with knowing all of this information. And you already know. If you've been driving for a while. You already know what time you'll get to certain places. And stuff like that. Like with this low. I probably wouldn't choose this low. Because if I'm picking up at 8.30 in the morning and I know that it's only 1,078 miles, I can do like 500 miles, well, of course a little over 500 miles a day. But yeah, I can have that load there in no time. I'll probably be there on the 7th, which I can be there on the 7th because right here it says I can deliver it on the 7th. So I'll probably be there on the 7th. Now if I want to just chill out, and wait around to the 8 and pick up the next load, I can't do it. I can't do that. But if I want to find a load picking up sooner, and um, like on the 7th, where I can go ahead on and get my load, instead of waiting to 1700 because I have to wait to that evening. Because you see that say 1700 I think that's like 5 p.m. I have to wait to that evening. I may find something that picking up, that's picking up in the morning. So me, sometimes I don't go ahead on and put loads on me. Because I may find a better low. Um, usually, that's how I do especially if you know the area that you're running in. You'll probably uh, find a better low where you can go ahead on and pick it up if you want to get out of that area. And I'm not going to New Jersey, but hell yeah, I'll be trying to get out that area. So, but yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Um, I'm doing it. And then plus delivering it on the night. If you chose this low, delivering it on the night would be no problem at all.
and yes although this look crazy right here you have to uh have it picked up by the night at 2200 but you have to have it delivered by 2359 sometimes the lows do look like that so like don't think that just because it says 2200 then you can go up in there after 2200 um not after 2200 what i'm trying to say is this say 2200 so it's only like an hour or two hours in between this time. Basically, you want to look out for that too. Don't go picking up this load at 2200 and trying to be here by midnight. And you know you got 218 miles to go to get that load delivered. So don't do that. Leave yourself room. Leave yourself a cushion. And so, uh, but you, you also know you can go up in there late on the 18th. And you can deliver this low earlier because you can, um, anytime, like 1 a.m. to pretty much midnight, you can deliver this low. So you can go pick up this low late if you just want to chill out, go catch a movie, go get something to eat, just relax for a while, or, you know, anything like that. You can do that. But anyway, for the ones who was wondering, this basically, uh, it's a pretty good idea of how the low boy look. And so I'm finna try to do y'all another quick little video. No, I didn't show myself on this because I don't know how to flip the camera back around to me. But y'all need to see me in a way. Y'all see what y'all need to see. And that's all I want to show y'all on this video. So uh, I'll talk to y'all in a few seconds. All right, bye.